After killing his brother Abel, we read of Cain and his punishment. Genesis chapter 4, verse 16. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod, on the east of Eden. The location is unknown. More than likely, the presence of the Lord refers to the gates of Eden, where the cherubim were and the flaming sword. Cain took his wife east of Eden, and Cain built the first city ever in history, and named it after his son, Enoch. And his descendants within that city became the beginning of what we would call today civilization. Music, educational, and cultural. And chapter 4 says of his descendants, in verse 20, And Ada bare Jabal. He was the father of such as dwell in tents, and of such as have cattle. In verse 21, And his brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of all such as handle the harp and organ. And Zillah she also bare Tubal-Cain, an instructor of every artificer in brass and iron. And the sister of Tubal-Cain was Naamah. We also have the second song ever recorded in the Bible by a descendant of Cain in verse 23, by the first polygamist ever recorded in the Bible. In verse 23 and 24, And Lamech said unto his wives, Ada and Zillah, Hear my voice, you wise of Lamech, hearken unto my speech. For I have slain a man for my wounding, and a young man to my hurt. If Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, truly Lamech seventy and sevenfold. This song, of course, reminds us of the words of our Lord when Peter asked him, How often should we forgive our brother? In Matthew 18, verses 21 through 22, it reads, Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him? Till seven times? Jesus said unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven. <laughs>